Good afternoon. I just found a nice, comfortable place to sit down right now, and I'm going to share something with you real quick. Um, you're watching Ro you're watching Walks with God, and this is Robin Bremer. I'm just so excited to get going here today that um, <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Um, today, I want to share, and I've been thinking about, and oh, I'm ready to write a new book on this, a new little booklet on this, uh, about heavenly encounters. And this has gotten me excited. Uh, Colossians, 3, Colossians 3 1 says, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Now, when it says, Seek those things which are above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God, if I asked you what were those things we're supposed to seek, and I've done this to several people, including my own mind, we religiously come up with, okay, what things are seated at the right hand of God? Okay, uh, one of my friends said the fruits of the Spirit, um, uh, love, joy, peace, uh, goodness, just all that, that Jesus is. Well, that's not the answer. God said that that's not the answer, and this is so exciting. This is what he said. Okay, let me read it again. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is seated at the, on the right hand of God. He said that is the Holy of Holies. He said that is a place, a physical place, heaven. He said we are to seek heavenly encounters. Because I was looking for scriptures uh, to have heavenly encounters. And I, I said, God, show me what gives me the right to ask you for heavenly encounters. And this is the first scripture that he showed me. And he said, he said that he told us to seek things that were above where Christ is seated. Christ is now physically seated at the right hand of God. It's a place. He's not talking about um, somewhere out there and spiritual things. He's talking about a physical place that we are allowed to seek. And then he took me to some other scriptures. This is one. He, he told me a whole bunch of people in the Old Testament and the New Testament that got throne room experiences and that's what I've been asking him. I'm asking him, God show me what happens in the physical and in the spiritual when I praise and worship and when I praise and worship as a the whole congregation, all of us. I want to know and I'm asking him for that kind of heavenly encounter. And so he started giving me these scriptures. Um, let's see, um, Col 2 Corinthians 12 uh, to uh, Paul, he was caught up into the third heaven, and he heard things, uh, words that were unspeakable. He talked about, uh, so that's one person that uh, was taken up into heaven. Then there's uh, John, who had uh, was taken up into heaven and had heavenly encounters. And um, there's Stephen, when he was being stoned, he saw the heavens open up. And then there is... Um, um, who was the other one? Um, Paul. Okay, and behold, I saw the... Oh, and then there was Jesus. When Jesus was baptized, the heavens... He saw the heavens open up. Okay, now that was New Testament. Now, those are some of the people that in the New Testament actually got to have throne visits. Now, if you have heard of the scripture in Revelation that, that says the Spirit of Jesus is this, okay the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy that means that the testimony of the word the testimony of whatever Jesus did before means that it's a prophecy if you hear it it builds your faith and it's your prophecy to receive the same thing so right there you have it today and tomorrow I'll talk about revelations about encounters of going to heaven um, in part two in this scripture, in, in this study, little study, uh, in the Old Testament. But my name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks from God, and it is okay to seek heavenly encounters and to expect them. I'll talk to you later.